Yeah, g'day internet. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Practically forgot how to do this. Um, I think the last video I made was like eight months ago or something. So I just wanted to do a quick, have a quick chat, basically go over some of the reasons why I haven't been doing anything recently. Although a lot of people say that I don't really need to give an explanation, which in normal situations I'd agree with, but I think that given how much you guys have helped me in the past, uh, there's a lot of people out there that are responsible for me being where I am today. Um, I think you guys deserve some sort of explanation. So to be honest, I haven't had a whole lot to do with drones for, I don't know, the last seven or eight months. Um, recently a lot more, but basically there's a period of time where I was very busy helping out with some some family stuff um, helping run a family business and this sort of thing and I just needed to focus on that sort of area in my life and and repairing some of the things you know my career and um, just sort of making sure that I was heading in the right direction and looking after my family and all that kind of thing so um, on top of that I probably lost quite a lot of the motivation to fly, I suppose. Um, and I sort of feel like, at least from my perspective, I've always tried to make sure that my videos come from a fairly honest place and, uh, you know, there's no bullshit, like, fake motivation. There's no, like, talking about stuff that I don't believe in, all that kind of thing. And so if I'm just not feeling like flying and I'm not psyched about what's going on in the industry and all that kind of thing, then, you know... Basically, if you go back to one of the very first videos I did that was a vlog style thing, I said that if I have something that I feel like I want to say, then I'm going to say something to the camera. If I don't, then I'm not going to say anything. So um, so that's a big part of the reason why I also haven't sort of had anything to do with YouTube and the community because um, I just haven't been in touch with it. So I didn't want to just be putting videos out for the sake of putting them out. So, But I guess, look, there's certainly no shortage of gratitude from me towards everybody that helped me out um, and you know as I said are in, in a lot of ways responsible for me being back on my feet now so I got a lot of support from a lot of people in particular um, as I may have mentioned Trevor um, if you're out there and you're still watching my videos uh, you're more responsible for me being where I am now than you could probably imagine um, I would say that the wider community is responsible for me getting the basis of you know having clothes to wear and stuff like that um, after the fire and just, you know, general living things. Um, but if anyone doesn't know, Trevor reached out to me personally and basically um, he's in a pretty fortunate position in his life and he offered to help fund the main bits of equipment that I would need to, you know, get back to work essentially. So things like this camera that I'm using, computer equipment, that kind of thing. You know, if it wasn't for you, I'd be, who knows what, what job I'd be doing, something. but. You know, obviously I've got to provide for my family somehow, but either way, um, incredibly thankful. And so now that I am back in the industry to a degree, I'm back flying, I've rebuilt all of my quads, sort of, you know, updated my fleet to some degree. Um, obviously I'm, um, I'm really psyched on flying again. It's going to take me a little while to get back to sort of, you know, my original confidence level. Um, I think this is, today is going to be like my fifth session back in you know, since the middle of last year. But yeah, I'll, go, I'll hopefully have a little bit more content to put out, um, try and put some fly videos out. But today I'm just gonna rip some packs. This is my original park, probably one of the first places I ever flew. So um, a lot of people, you, a lot of you guys are gonna recognize this. So it should be fun. Thanks for watching guys. And hopefully I'll see you guys again very soon. Should I change my fucking jacked props? Or? You'll be right. Your Instagram story, should I do a video instead? Did you? Fuck you, bitch. You fucking would say that. That was bad. You know when you try to cover cover up a mistake by just committing further and further and then eventually the crash is even worse? That's what happened. I don't know, maybe that doesn't happen to you. There's 
a cyclist back there somewhere. There's what? A cyclist back there somewhere. Got a GoPro? Yes. Twenty. Is that hole? Where is it? There it is. Battery is fried. Get yourself. 